Hey guys, so lately I've gotten lots of requests for more affordable pieces. So I figured like as a roundup, the first thing I should do for affordable pieces is jeans and denim because I wear jeans more than anything else. And it's really hard, at least it's been really hard for me to find high quality, good fitting denim jeans that are under $100. So today I'm gonna show you a bunch of different pairs that I've found that I think are awesome for the price point and they're all under a hundred bucks. So first of all, first of all, <laughs> I wanted to start with this pair cause I've owned them the longest. Um, these I've had for about two or three years now. I can't remember, but they still look as good as the day I got them. Honestly, the wash hasn't really faded at all. The rips are huge, but they started out that exact same size. So I think that's like, um, a really good, thing because to find rips this big that don't completely like tear I've had ones that literally tore all the way up my leg or down my leg so these have not done that in at least two years which is awesome these are made by free people and the pockets have nothing on them they're just plain pockets um, and they're skinny all the way to the ankle I have not hemmed these and I'm 5'1 and they come like all the way down to the bottom of my ankle um, I wouldn't say they're an ankle jean on me, but I think if you're like a normal height, like five, four or taller, they're going to be an ankle fitting jean. Um, they come in a bunch of different washes. So this is the dark blue, um, but they come in black and white. I would say the number one thing about these is definitely size up. Um, they run really small. I know from some of my friends size up two sizes in them. Um, I've sized up one. These are 26 and you can see the rise is a high rise it comes right below my belly button um but these are super comfortable very stretchy and the fact that the knee is blown out makes them like even stretchier so um if you have kids you can like play on the ground with them they're really awesome i love these definitely had to start with them because they're my favorite pair under 100 bucks and one more thing i wanted to mention right before like i get too far into this is i am going to share all the details about everything including like all the tops i wear in the shoes on the blog today so there's more details about all the fit and sizing of all the jeans in case i forgot to mention something and then um all of the rest of the outfit details that i wear will be linked there for you too so if you're interested in any of those things those are all there as well for you okay next is this pair of white jaggings they're from american eagle and they are definitely like destroyed um they've got like a rip in the thigh here so it's not too far up your thigh like this is longer than any pair of shorts I would wear so I feel comfortable with it um, but they also have rips in the knees which hit me in the right spot I'm wearing a two extra short and which is what I normally wear in American Eagle jeans but these are a bit short for me so I would say if you are um, like order one length they fit more like a crop I would say um, but they're technically not we double check and they're not a crop they're just a normal jean but they fit like a crop um, I prefer probably to get it too short. So, um, but the pockets again are the stitching matches. So you don't notice them at all. They're not see-through, which is awesome for white jeans. I feel like I'm always on the hunt for a pair of white jeans that aren't see-through this time of year. And these are not, they're a high rise and they come right to my belly button. I love that they don't have front pockets. So that may bother you if you really like having pockets, but that means they don't like show on your thigh. So really awesome. Um, I think the hem on the bottom is so cute. I will probably just exchange them for a two short, but these are an awesome destroyed white option and they're under 50 bucks. Okay, next is this button fly pair from American Eagle that's also under $50. Um, they are like the perfect medium blue that you could wear year round, but they're a little lighter than like the free people ones that I wore first. Um, so they're really good for spring and summer. Uh, they don't, they are not distressed. So there's like no holes anywhere on them. Um, and the back looks like that. They're also a high rise. Um, again, they come like right to my belly button. I would say these are probably the highest of all the ones I've tried on, but I'm just wearing them with like a little crop tee and they're perfect. Um, these are a two short. So when I was ordering them, they didn't have the two extra short that I normally buy. So I bought the two short and they're a full length jean on me. I prefer my jeans to be like more ankle length, but I think if you prefer a full length, these are awesome. Um, and then you can, I love American Eagle because they have all the different lengths from like extra short to extra tall. So 
you can pick like if I want an ankle length, I'll just go to an extra short or a full length, then I'll just buy the short. So they're really stretchy. Again, they're like that jagging material. So it's super stretchy, but really cute. Um, if you're looking for a button fly option, these are really cute for under $50. Okay, next is this really cute pair of faded black denim. They're not like super dark, so they're perfect, like the pair, perfect pair of black denim to wear into spring. Um, because I feel like if they're like more of a jet black, they're harder to pull off in like the warmer months. But these are more of like a washed black, not gray at all, but just more of like a washed black. Um, they have really cute distressing, not too large of holes. And um, there's like little ones right here. And then they have the cutest little chewed hem. These are Abercrombie and they are a two short or a 26 short. Um, I wish I would have gone with my normal size 25, but I thought for some reason maybe they might run small and they don't. They run true to size. So I'd order your normal size. The back pockets are completely plain and they're super flattering. So I love these. These are even higher than the last pair I put on. So these actually come above my belly button. So my belly button's like right there. Um, so if you're not a high rise fan, I wouldn't, I would stay away from these. But if you do like high rise, these are really awesome. Again, super stretchy, like that jagging material, but I just think the hem on the bottom is super cute and they come in short. This next pair is another awesome high rise destroyed pair, but more of like small, more small rips rather than like two large rips. Um, I also love this wash for spring and summer. It is lighter wash, um, but it has like the white, through it, I guess you could say. Um, super cute, the pockets are totally plain. These are also from Abercrombie and I am wearing the too short again. Um, the short length is perfect. It's like the perfect ankle length on me. I would say still to stick with your true, true size. I wish I had like a 25 instead of the 26 in these just cause they are really super stretchy. Um, and they do come just as high as the last pair. So above my belly button still, um, which, is great if you like a high rise. If you're more into like a normal high rise that comes right below your belly button, I'd stick with the American Eagle ones. But if you're taller or you like really, really high rise to wear with like crop shirts and things like that, Abercrombie tends to run higher rise. So these are Abercrombie. Um, they come in a million different washes, but they're the high rise jegging. And I loved this like light distressing um, cause I felt like the holes were different than all the other pairs. Okay, next are the best mom jeans and they're under $50. I love this pair so much. They're from American Eagle and they are like the perfect stiff denim that like a mom jean should be made out of. I love the fact that these are a zipper fly. Most of the mom jeans I have tried on have been a button fly. And so if you're not into a button fly and you want a pair of mom jeans, these are awesome. They have the perfect rips in the knees. They hit me right at the knee. And on me, they're like a cropped ankle length, I guess you could say. I bought a two extra short. I would say if you're between sizes to definitely size up in these, um, multiple reasons. One, they're stiff and they don't stretch at all. And two, um, like mom jeans aren't supposed to fit like super thin, like in tight. So um, bigger is better than smaller, I guess you could say. So if you're between sizes, definitely size up. These are the extra short. And I would say like, I may order a short if I reordered them. I mean, I've washed these, so I'm not reordering them, but um, yeah, these are an extra short. So I'm between. They're a high rise. And then the back pockets just look like that. Super plain. Um, with like the perfect light summer spring wash. I absolutely love these. Um, they come up to my belly button. Like the button is like right on my belly button. Um, and they fit perfect. Okay, this next pair is super cute, but kind of different for me because I typically stick with really plain denim. But this one has the cutest little line detail going down the side. It's not printed on the denim. It's more like in the actual denim. Um, it's kind of like the seam is exposed, if you can see that. Um, so super cute. I love that it's not like printed on, if that makes sense. It's more dyed into the denim. Um, but these are Abercrombie, so they're that really high, super stretchy fit. Um, they have holes in the knees. These are really tiny, but this one I could anticipate getting larger as I wear and wash them. Um, the pockets are completely plain and super flattering. 
but this is a two regular and I would say, um, or a 26 regular, and I would say the 25, like my normal size would have fit better again. So if you're going with Abercrombie, go true to size. Um, but these are a regular and not a short and they fit perfectly. Actually, I prefer more, you know, of an ankle length. So I would probably go with a short. They didn't have them when I ordered them, but I still think the regular fits really well. So if you want an ankle length, go with your normal length um, and you'll get that like perfect cute ankle length. So I thought these were really fun and super cute if you're like, want something a little different, but not too crazy. Okay, and this last pair is a really good basic pair, which is two rips in the knees, super simple, dark denim. Um, it's also American Eagle, so they're gonna be under $50 and they're extremely stretchy. I originally bought this pair right after I had Rhett um, because I wanted really stretchy denim and I didn't own very many pairs of very soft denim. So if you like really stretchy denim, these are awesome. Um, they are a high rise, they come right to my belly button. And I'm wearing the two extra short again in these and they're the perfect ankle length. I didn't have to hem them. Um, and I absolutely love these. So they are really stretchy. Um, now I would say I could probably go down one size, but I bought these right after I had him. And so they were perfect for when I needed really stretchy denim. Um, the rips in the knees have not gotten any bigger since I first bought them. So that's awesome because they're not gonna like blow out on you. But these are under 50 bucks. Again, I'm wearing like the two extra shorts and they are great. I've worn and washed these several times. Oh, the one thing I will say is these kind of smell when you get them. Um, not They really smell when you get them. So, and I've seen that on the reviews online. And one of my followers mentioned to me in a DM one time that if you stick them in a plastic bag in the freezer overnight and then wash them, the smell will go away. I haven't tried it yet because she just sent me that not that long ago and I haven't worn them since. But now that I'm telling you about it, um, that's what she said. So I'm interested to try it out. So I'm going to try that trick out. But, um, if you want to try them and yours end up smelling, cause I don't think everybody's do, but if yours do, that's a trick you could try. So that's all. I hope this was really helpful. I will save it as a highlight. And again, all of the outfit details, all the tops and shoes and everything are on the blog today as well with more details on all the denim. So I hope that was super helpful. If you have any questions, of course, reach out to me, but those are awesome. All of these are awesome pairs under hundred bucks.